What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, just go ahead and hit that like button because if you're here, that means that you like something about this platform and I really do like you and appreciate you even the more. And so let's get into this podversation. Everyone knows that Nick Cannon has been on the baby making mission and a lot of people have concerns about him, his state of mind, even his health because he is someone that has an autoimmune disease, more specifically lupus. And he is having a lot of children with women that he is not married to. I mean, obviously in the United States, Polygamy is not legal, so even if he were claiming that he was married to all of these women legally, he cannot be. So to my knowledge, he's not a Mormon. To my knowledge, he's not in the cult, the FLDS, those people who followed Warren Jeffs, I believe his name was, the guy who's in prison right now and is forbidding all of his followers from having sex anymore because he's locked up when he was having sex with the little girls and all that stuff while he was out which is one of the reasons why he's in prison but yeah I have (laughs) went on a little bit of a tangent and just talking about things that I really shouldn't be talking about but at any rate let's just get into this conversation about him because Nick Cannon he just recently had his ninth child with a woman by the name of Lanisha Cole. And to be quite honest, not that this conversation is even about that, but I had concerns about Nick Cannon. I'm not one of these people that sits out here and talks about the ethnicities that people choose to get involved with and have, you know, get in marriages with or have children with or any of those things because people's choices are their choices. I'm not for or against. I mind my business. But if you look at all of the children that he had, even when he was married to Mariah Carey, none of the children look like him. I mean, when I say look like him, he is someone that has a lot more melanin than the women that he's been hooking up with. So in essence, none of the children so far will look like him. They may have his eyes. They may have the shape of his nose. They may even have, you know, his lips or some some trait like that. But when it comes to the skin, none of his children look like him. And now this most recent woman that he's had a baby with actually looks like him. And when I say looks like him, they have the same skin tone. So that's something that we have not seen since he has decided to be on this baby making mission and have all of these kids. But, you know, I saw this story and everybody that I don't want to say everybody because I know it's not everybody, but there are a lot of people that give him a pass because they're like, well, we know he can take care of the kids. Listen, Nick Cannon may be a multimillionaire. I haven't taken the time to look up his net worth, but he is capable or it's possible that he could have a health breakdown where he isn't able to work the way that he has been working. I mean, is he going to be like George Clinton of P-Funk and um, Parliament? where he's doing wild and out when he's 65, 70 years old. Like, let's be, (laughs) let's be honest. Like, is he going to really be working like that? And I know that he's not the typical nine to fiver that's working a regular job and, you know, making his money every two weeks. Of course, he's at this point where his money is making money. But as long as you are alive, there are opportunities and circumstances and situations that can cause your money to run dry. So it's not smart to get yourself involved in situations where you're going to be at a deficit. And this legal expert, she has estimated that Nick Cannon is probably going to be paying upwards of $3 million a year in child support. $3 $3 million a year. And that is, that, that's just child support. That's just child support. So uh, the story is, and I got this story 
excuse me, this article from Yahoo News. And it says that Nick Cannon has another baby announcement, another day, another announcement. And this time he threw a wild card into the hat that we did not see coming. And it says just a week after returning from his baby moon in Guam with Brittany Bell, the mother of two of his children, with another one expected soon, the actor slash rapper has announced that he and model turned photographer Lanisha Cole have just welcomed their first child together, a little girl by the name of Onyx Ice Cole Cannon. And I guess it's fine to give your children the last name of someone that you're not married to, but I know in some states they didn't even allow that. (laughs) Uh, but anyway he said today I am in awe of the divine feminine Cannon wrote on Instagram about the September 14th birth of his daughter God has given me and at Miss Lanisha Cole the privilege of hosting an angel here on earth I vow to protect provide guide and love this child to the best of my abilities and I find that funny that he wrote to the best of my abilities because he already knows that the most that he can do right now is provide the financial needs that the child has because yeah he can love the child but how much time can you really devote and give to all of these children slash women because I can guarantee you especially seeing the pictures that he does with these women and children it's not like he's just like the typical baby daddy where he's just taking a picture with the kids once the child is born he's you know, having photo shoots with the women as they're embracing him or he's embracing her and she's embracing her belly or whatever, or they're doing, you know, something quirky. Like there was one where he was dressed up in a bunny suit. Like it's all ridiculous to me, but it it's what they're doing. And hey, <laughs> their choice, right? But we're talking about it because they put it out there for everybody to know about. So he continued to write that he plans on ignoring all negativity surrounding the birth of his child, likely taking aim at critics who who may have choice words regarding his decision to impregnate so many women. And that's true. So he says, in this moment of celebration and jubilee, I wish to mute any low vibrational frequencies and only rejoice with the highest class of civilization who are truly aligned with our purpose here in this dimension. Bullcrap, save me this malarkey about low vibrational frequencies because getting out here and impregnating several different women in a short span of time is one of the lowest vibrational frequencies that any body can be on. Like you are supposed to be a human being, but you're treating yourself like you're this mutt out here in heat impregnating all of these bitches because that's what female dogs are. I'm just being honest. (laughs) so he continues to say we all learn so much from these angels we call children i am learning that it is not the limited amount of time we have on this planet but it's the limited amount of love that is the issue and i promise to love this little girl with all my heart regardless what anyone says and then they call him a media mogul and it says he got biblical for a brief moment while discussing his future And he says, I've given up on attempting to define myself for the world or society, but instead I'm doing the work to heal and grow into the infinite being God ordained me to be, whatever. Hopefully I can teach Onyx the same, to not let others shame or ridicule her with their outside opinions, because when they do, they are only projecting their own harsh experiences, pain, and social programming onto her unblemished beauty. I'm wondering if someone wrote this statement for him. Like, does he have a publicist that speaks like this? And then he uses this time to go at the public uh, criticisms. He says, all we, as we all know, I am not easily triggered and have quite tough skin and have always been an open book, but not everyone in my family has that same level of strength. So I pray and ask others to please project all criticism and cynicism towards me and not the loving and precious mothers of my children. I mean, yeah, it's cool that you're not calling these chicks holes and sluts and bitches like a lot of, you know, baby daddies do after they impregnate someone that they were not in a real relationship with. Okay, that's fine. We we can agree with you with that. But that doesn't make you a higher level of person because you're speaking these terms like 
choosing to mute the voices of the low vibrational. Like, get out of here. You're out here screwing all of these women, getting all of them pregnant. I want to give you an example. There's a singer by the name of Kiki Wyatt. Love her. Amazing voice. Amazing voice. This woman has had so many children, but she's had them in a marriage. She wasn't out here just screwing a lot of different men and winding up pregnant. And so many people had so many negative comments to say about her. I mean, I saw the comments. Like people would say, oh, she's having a litter. You know, so it's like, okay, well, it's cool if you're a man out here that has the money and you're sowing your seed to all of these women who are looking forward to this continual paycheck for at least the next 18 years, hopefully, if nothing happens to him. And, you know, if you're a woman and you're out here having multiple children, God forbid, even if you are married, because people just treat people in these situations like this differently. The double standards are so real. But we're going to talk about this money. So according to attorney Goldie Sean, a family law attorney and legal expert that was interviewed by The Sun, says Cannon should expect to pay millions a year in child support and two of his children's mothers may make thousands more than the others. Goldie says, when you have somebody like Nick Cannon, who's an extremely high income earner, the courts in California have the right to deviate from the typical child support guidelines. While Cannon's net worth isn't under consideration, his annual salary is. Sean estimates that if he's bringing home around $5 million a year, the court would need to take into account how much would be needed for the children to be kept in the lifestyle of both parents. So the story says dad is clearly a public figure and makes a substantial income. The lifestyle has to be the same with mom as it is with dad, even if they were not married. So according to Sean, Nick's latest bundle of joy will probably cost him close to 40000 a month in child support. Damn. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. I mean, I'm married and I only have one child, so I definitely couldn't just be out here having kids for a check. But 40000 a month, I guess I can understand why some of these women were willing to be the recipients of his sperm and hopefully getting that seed fertilized so that they can get a $40,000 a month check. <laughs> but she estimates that he is paying around sixty grand a month plus any other expenses added on to Brittany Bell, who shares five-year-old golden and one-year-old powerful queen. What is up with these names? But anyway, <laughs> these are the names of the children with the with him. And plus, she's pregnant with another child. That baby may add another 20 grand to Cannon's bill, bringing the total he's paying to her around 80000 a month, she estimates. Now, again, these are just estimates. But this is a family law attorney in California, so she knows of what she speaks. And she says, when it comes to Abby De La Rosa, who shares one-year-old twins, Zion and Zillion Air, I guess she wants to be a zillionaire. <laughs> Sean estimates she's getting between 600 grand and 750 grand a year from him just in child support. Then plus things he's probably also paying for like school or child care, all of the extras. De La Rosa recently gave birth to her third child with the 41-year-old, which may have bumped up her payments to close to a cool million a year. And model Brie Tiesi, who had another one of Cannon's children this summer, is probably getting close to 40 grand a month from the wild and out front man. So there may be a financial reason why Cannon keeps it in house when it comes to the women he procreates with. Sean said that as per California child support calculations, having another baby with De La Rosa or Bell is significantly cheaper than doing so with a woman who has yet to bear his child. It's almost like he's getting a discount <laughs> with Abby and Brittany having a third child. Additionally, according to Showbiz Cheat Seat, Cannon most likely doesn't pay Mariah Carey. I mean, she doesn't need his money. Mariah was a come up for Nick Cannon. So let's just be quite clear there. Mariah Carey was a come up for Nick Cannon because when he got with Mariah Carey, a lot of people were like, 
Did she have another breakdown? Why is she with this dude? But I mean, hey, they were together. They got married. And that's the one thing that he gave Mariah that he didn't give to these other women. He gave her marriage. But anyway, I digress. She doesn't need his money. She was a come up for him. So Sean noted that her speculations are all based on estimates, of course. And she also mentioned somewhat surprisingly that Cannon actually has the ability to have children with women who don't litigate against him. So he's clearly been so generous with his finances and his income and that he stopped them from going to the courthouse. And while that's great for him financially, she speculates raising so many children with different women must be difficult. And it is. Now, I'm going to read you a few of the comments um, from people from this uh, story. Because, I mean, we all know that a lot of people think that he, he's crazy, and I do. I do believe that there is a mental, a mental, it's a, a mental deficit. Something is going on there. So one person says his idea and behavior makes no sense on any planet. It is illegal to be married to more than one woman, but yet, but you can impregnate as many as you want in reckless disregard. Absolutely absurd. Another one says, the question becomes, is being his child more fulfilling and valuable than actually having him in their lives? No way can he give them all the attention they deserve. And I mean, that's, that's just a few, but, and then another word says, and baby 10, 11, 12, 13 are on the way. And I do believe that. And a lot of people think that Tasha K blows smoke or she doesn't really know what she's talking about, but she mentioned some things about more women were going to be having his children coming forward. She, she was very, very believable when she said it. And then we started seeing more of these women coming forward that were having his baby. I just, I just feel that a lot of people who give him a pass because he is who he is, they just believe, oh, well, he's got it. I don't think he has it that well. I I mean, it's clear that he's working with these women individually to make sure that they have what they want and need so that they don't have to be compelled to take him to court to get what the law says that they should but that's today. You you cannot predict the future. And that's the other thing where it involves his his health. He has lupus. I'm not saying that he's going to croak tomorrow. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't in the next 18 years. I'm just saying he is not the most wealthiest man here on the planet. And I just don't understand why anyone would give this a pass as if it's okay just because he's Nick Cannon and he's got it like that. Well, at least he's got the money. He can afford it. It's He can't afford the time. The time is the one thing that you, you can't give money for. And it's a lot of time that he's not going to have in these children's lives because he even said this before that the mothers of his children don't have to get along. So for me... That makes me feel as if there definitely may be some underlying issues involved. And these are women. We already know <laughs> how a lot of women can be. I, I'm not saying that it is impossible for them to get along, but I believe that a lot of it, if it is that way right now, it's kind of fake or just to go along to get along for the sake of getting what I want and need right now. But things can change. And I just believe that this is absolutely insane, very foolish. Save us the the garbage about, you know, I'm not listening to low vibrational people who have their thoughts and opinions about what I'm choosing to do. Yeah, it's your choice, but you're putting it out there so we have the right to share our opinion on it. And I believe that it is crazy. And there are probably going to be more children that's going to be popping out of the womb soon here. So we'll just keep an eye out on that. But is $3 million a year estimated in child support worth it for someone that they're saying brings about $5 million a year? I get it. You know, many people can say, well, I can live off of $2 million a year, and you probably could. And a lot of us would probably kill to be able to do that. But is that a wise thing to do? 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know the reasoning behind any of what he's doing, but I just wanted to talk about this. You guys can let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And until the next time, this is Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest.